So Steamboat Willie, the like original Mickey Mouse, uh, got released from copyright like the other day and immediately, you know, the inevitable um, like shitty horror knockoff game featuring the character was made and it's under fire for there being a bunch of like Nazi dog whistles in it. So the game is called, oh, the game was called, they changed it. Nightmare Forge changes title of quote Infestation 88 which appropriates a public domain version of Mickey Mouse after allegations of coded hate symbols. What, wait, what'd they change the name to? Infestation's Origins on Tuesday after many on social media pointed out the number 88 sometimes used as code for Heil Hitler as H, the eighth letter of the alphabet, looked highly st suspicious in conjunction with other stylistic choices. Observers were particularly alarmed at Nightmare Forge's descriptions of exterminators killing humanoid rat-like vermin with pesticide. Okay, I thought this when I first saw it, and I didn't think it was a big, like, sometimes Nazi dog whistles, even if they are real, are kind of, like, immaterial and harmless, because I don't know who's going to be politically radicalized by a game because it's called Infestation 88, but it was a little bit sussy, right? Like, Infestation 88, you're, you're like, exterminating vermin, I don't know, but then they changed the name, so I guess that's fine. Like, if they were really doing a dog whistle bit, they wouldn't change the name, right? It probably is just, a, like, a coincidence, you know? If you, if you're politically like very active and you know your bits or whatever, you know, 88 is like a pretty common Nazi dog whistle, but if you don't, you don't, right? And also let's be fair, leaving aside the Nazi dog whistle, 88 is a cool number because it's like four O's stacked up in a square. That's pretty cool. I think, you know, I like, it's just, it's cool. It's also cool. I think 88 is a cool number to like draw in some fonts. You ever, you ever seen that? Like, like the kind of like, um, like uh, sans serif print font you get on the side of like tanks and stuff, or like like depot, like hangers, where it's like everything's very boxy and you have like a slash through it. That's that's a very cool look. So maybe to them, eighty eight was just like a cooler. I don't know, just like a cool number. I don't really know. It's literally the uh, Back to the Future number. Was it eighty eight? Oh yeah, eighty eight miles per hour. That's true. What was um? Hold on, wait, hold on a second. What was uh? What was Doc doing during the war? Uh, wait, hold on. A uh, genius scientist, uh, very old in uh, the 1980s, working in America. Hold on. What, what was what was he doing in the 40s? I guess Doc Brown isn't a very German name. Maybe he had it changed. You know, he's got he's got like a, he's got like a, a strange love situation going on. The universal doodle of schools. Yeah, but that's not an eight. That's a that's a, an S. Like with the dollar sign, because you do the little doot. He literally had it changed. His grandparents were von Braun. Wait, really? Wait. Emmett Lathrop Brown, PhD, commonly referred to as Doc Brown. Emmett's family moved to Hill Valley from Germany in 1908. Phew. All right, guys, don't worry. They wanted the kooky, like German scientist bit, but they wanted to, they wanted to avoid. All right, Herr Doctor. Yeah, yeah. No Operation Paperclip uh, shenanigans. All right. Well, so they changed the name to Infestation Origins. Others claim to have spotted an assault rifle used by German troops in World War II. What? The STG-44 was a German assault rifle used by German troops in... This says TG-44. Is that... Okay. Are we, like, wrapping the text to, to do the bit there? That's... Okay. Past a point, do, like, you have to ask yourself... Is this potential dog whistle so obscure that there's no material harm in it existing? You know what I mean? I mean, if you want to rearrange letters, you know, this isn't a dog whistle. This is like a, this is, this is like a, a, a deep space sonar that can only be picked up by the finest of instruments. It's not that hard to avoid this thing though. I, I think the level of, I think the level of like political paranoia that would be necessary to not do stuff like this is beyond a reasonable expectation, you know? Yeah, I don't, I don't buy that. You got to be careful with your, I, I, I don't know. It's like, here, wait, let's take a look at the reveal trailer. Hey there, thanks for coming out. We've got Phone guy. Infestation here at the storage facility. God, this looks like such a shit game. Just rodents, but there's something else in here. There's nests. They're everywhere. We tried to take care of it ourselves, but things have escalated. Looks 
exterminators are our last hope. Please, help us before. This is this this there's nothing unique about this game. This is going to be like every other game like this, you know. Um the the thing that kind of sucks though is I know this is being like thro Okay, so here's how this here's how this project was developed, okay? This team realized that public domain on the original Mickey Mouse on Steamboat Willie would be available at this date. So they were like, "Okay, let's let's make an edgy horror game using that property so we can get like some some curiosity bucks. We can capitalize on the market." Um, you know, when when we're able to uh, and we'll like release the trailer the day that it's legally possible for us to do so. Um, okay, now how do we make a game around that? And then they made a game that actually could be interesting, which is what if you were exterminators dealing with like rats, but the rats are like mutants and they get like bigger and stronger. How the f do you reconcile that with there being like a steamboat willy there? Like it almost looks like you've got something going here with the like all the rats and some of them are like bigger or like plagued or whatever. It could be kind of like, um, I don't know, like Phasmo or something, except you're dealing with a swarm rather than a single ghost. Then it's like, oh, here comes Steamboat Willie, toot toot, you know, like, God damn it. I feel like the premise for this might actually end up like outgrowing the original pretense. Cause like, why is this dude here? Like, what, what are you doing? FNAF costume ass, like, what, what are you doing? Like, the, what, this looks neat. I, develop on this. Do, do like a multiplayer co-op, like comedy horror game where it like, you know, cause like Phasmophobia is about the ghost. Lethal Company is about recovering loot while not getting killed by monsters while trying to like, you know, like, but so, so do like a, a like, eh. It's doing marketing. That's what I hope the I hope the game releases and Steamboat Willie isn't in it. The the devs were like, no, we're gonna make an actual game. This was just a bit. We're just here for the like publicity. Um, you're gonna sit down and you're going to enjoy our actual game. You know. Eighty eight infestation. Um, Nightmare Forge not immediately respond. Uh, da -da -da. They made two announcements on Tuesday. Our game Infestation 88 is set in the 1980s with the year 88 simply chosen due to its symmetrical design and the game's artwork slash logo. Okay, so they literally just wanted it to like look good in the logo. I mean, if we're being derivative, why not make it 87 and he could like bite you? I don't know. Unfortunately, we were unaware of any additional meaning the number 88 has. However, after learning about this, we're changing the game's name to Infestation Origins. Uh, we apologize for our ignorance on this and appreciate that this was brought to our attention so we could address it ASAP. And then this was posted on Twitter. Okay, that, so this pretty much puts to death the idea that it was any kind of dog whistle, right? Right, what is this? Damn, that's crazy. I guess your dev team also didn't know who Hitler was and accidentally put 1488 all over the game. And then they post Discord screenshots that have been community noted. The users in the screenshot are not moderators in the Nightmare Forge games Discord and have no affiliation with Infestation 88. Man, we already winked at all the people we want to wink to so we can pretend to hide again. Can we not be deranged? June Egbert. June Egbert. You Homestuck fan. You are more problematic. Do you... Goddamn incest dog dick ass comic and you're gonna get... God damn it. June Egbert 2024? 2024? Now? God damn it. Man, people are going to give them shit over this. I feel bad for them, even though they're just making, like, a shitty derivative, like, public, public commons shit thing. People don't know how dog whistles work, man. This is why, I've, I swear to God, I'm, like, the only person who knows this on the online left who has any relevance or whatever. This is the same reason why I advocated so hard for people to use the Pepe emote back in, like, 2019 when that was more of a discourse topic. Now, nobody, like, Pepes are used, like, everywhere all the time, you know? The best way to deal with a dog whistle is to appropriate it. Because if you, like, freak out over the dog whistle and you're like, yo, yo, Nazi, Nazi, when you see a person, like, hold up a cup of milk or whatever, the only thing you're doing is making yourself look deranged. That's the whole point of a dog whistle it's the, the the point of a dog whistle is to uh employ plausible deniability by um making your opposition who can identify the dog whistle look crazy while kind of like laughing it up with your political allies if you just co-opt it and you're like nice milk friend like you 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 don't you don't take the bait it's bait you know I understand the initial suspicion because infestation 88 is kind of a sussy title but if it was a if it was a dog whistle why would they change like they like why why 
If they care enough about promoting Nazism that they're going to build their entire game around making Nazi dog whistles, why would they just, like, randomly change, you know? Vosh is a game developer. They knew literally not a way to know. You spend thousands of hours making a game. No, no, that's a very online take. You have no idea. The average person in society does not know that 88 is a dog whistle. Certainly not to the point that they would think that they can't include it or use it anywhere. Ab d absolutely not. Don't project your level of play. Like you, you are in you are in the dedicated live stream chat on a private website of a um of a, of a political live streamer, like your level of political awareness vastly exceeds the average person. The average person is, and you got to know this, a tard. They have no idea what's going on. You know, you could like, you, you like, you could, you could just run like a bunch of like communist and Nazi dog whistles past them. And they'll stare at you with the unblinking bovine eyes of a half wit, you know, just incomprehensibly failing to process the shit you do or say, you know? You know, it's, I thought we are the retard. We are also retarded, but for different reasons. You know, it's just, yeah. Like, 1488 is one thing, right? But 88, very different. 88 is literally two numbers, right? I mean, I, yeah, I don't know. There's 14 hidden into it. The 14 hidden into it that people are referring to is, um, like there are 14 characters in the title or something? Come on. A few accuse the company of veiled use of the number 14, the 14 words being a white supremacist slogan. The game synopsis, for example, says that Infestation 88 is an episodic one to four player co-op survival horror game, a phrase that almost combined the two numbers. Come on, one to four player co-op survival horror game is labeled on half the shit Steam releases. And the Nightmare Forge team on their website identifies industry veterans who have specialized in creating horror games since 2010 or 14 years ago. No, no, guys, I feel like I've dropped more Nazi dog whistles than this, you know? If you're gonna be suspicious of that, yeah, we're doing like QAnon tier shit. We're doing numerology. Also, the STG-44 Sturmgewehr is like a common stock Unity asset gun, so I really doubt any of this was on purpose. They didn't even have the Sturmgewehr. They just had a little sign that said like ST-44GTS or something, and then it's like, well, if you rearrange the letters and numbers, you get the STG-44, the Sturmgewehr. You know, a gun that's in like half of all shooter games. Damn hu human pattern recognition lol. Yeah, seriously. Ah, uh, man, I feel bad for these guys now. God damn it. I just want to, I just want to say again, the point of recognizing dog whistles is not to like instantly freak out at anything you think might. The whole point of a construction of a dog whistle is the plausible deniability, right? Think of dog whistles that we've like, I don't know, experienced over the past few years from the alt-right. We have the okay sign, except hold on a second. Don't like lots of people use the okay sign? Like, isn't it literally like an internationally acknowledged sign of okay? Like, isn't that like kind of broadly used? Well, yes, that's the entire point. The point is the plausible deniability, right? Like holding up a cup of milk or like, um, or, or, or like anything involving like Pepe or whatever. They don't do it in South America. Okay. By internationally recognized, I mean America. This is the only country I care about. Like, but Vosh, shouldn't we call it dog whistles if we see them? Not necessarily, no. The, again, the point is to make you act like a freak. Nazis don't just dog whistle to signal to each other that they're Nazis. Nazis also dog whistle. Like, it, we're, not, we're not 1980s homosexuals in San Francisco holding handkerchiefs in our pockets, okay? We're, we're, like, it's, it's not like the only way to communicate your intentions to another person is via, like, coded signals, you know? If Nazis want to get along with other Nazis, they just form group chats. Like, it's not, it's not a secret. They have Discord. There's all of 4chan. Like, it's not hard for them to find each other, right? The point of dog whistling nowadays is more about covertly signaling power in a way that baits the opposition into looking like deranged lunatics. And... They succeed pretty often because a lot of people on the left think that the way you respond to a perceived dog whistle is to go, yo, 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 bro, 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 okay, simple, 88, whoa, whoa. When in reality, that is exactly what the Nazi wants because now you look like a lunatic and you might be accusing a normie. And if you're accusing a normie of doing all that shit, you just look like a deranged cancel culture like freak. You look like a QAnon guy. Like... Imagine if you were a fan of this game prior to its release, and then you learn that a bunch of people online, like a bunch of lefties, are like going, Yeah, you Nazi fucks, you piece of shit. Like, look at this. I would really like to give you the benefit of the doubt, but if the 1488 reference was genuinely accidental, there is no 1488 reference! 
What do you mean? Why does your studio claim to be 14 years old when there is seemingly no mention of it before a few months ago? They just said they've been making games since 2010. That means that's the first time the lead developer made a Unity game. That's the first time they made a little platformer. This is not new. This would... Uh, if you say you've been making games since 2010, why do you not have a portfolio saying what previous games you made? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Jesus. We got Discord screenshots. Changing the name won't hide the fact you got Nazis working in the game. Except these have nothing to do with the f game, according to community notes. I'm not even looking into that shit. 88 is a very specific number to use. No one believes that was unintentional amount. Look at the- This is exactly what I mean, dude. Deranged behavior like this exists so that the far right can point at it and go, Man, the left is crazy. They see Nazis everywhere. Which then delegitimizes the actual times you point out the existence of Nazis. You know? Like, yeah, every time you see 88, it's a deliberate dog whistle. I'm ve I'm very not online person with a Palestine flag logo, and it's definitely like an internet leftist who's 14 years old. Ah, uh, 14, haha. Sleep token addict, pan he they, leftist, anti-sex workers, anti-choice, twerf swerfs are scum, liberals can't think, a willed ill lives evil on war. Yeah, okay. 17 years old and an online leftist, okay? Like, never touch grass in their life. Nobody leaves this LMFAO. Again, just just please don't be deranged about what you perceive to be dog whistles, man. Can you imagine if you saw a person with a jersey that had 88 on it? Just because the person, like, it's just the jersey, that's the 80, that's, not, that's the number they have, 88 or whatever. And you're like, bro, 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 and you, like, freak out or whatever. And it's like, dude, it's literally just like a random guy with, like, an 88 jersey. Like, what do you, like, you, if you end up being that sensitive to perceived dog whistles, the Nazis have already won. Can we be fair here? Like, can we be fair? Because if, if they got you that paranoid that you're just attacking everyone over shit like that, like, imagine if any time you ever saw someone do like, hey, hey, okay, like, a little okay, so you're like, whoa, 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 Nazi, whoa, like, man, holy shit, you know, oh my god. Don't literally give them the numbers, 14, 8, and 8, in, in, in like, like, all cases, you know, Jesus. Um... Is the milk thing a real dog whistle? Ah, I can see you're young. Yes. But it wasn't as much used because as it turns out, like, having a glass of milk is a lot more contextually difficult to employ in dog whistling as, like, the OK symbol or 88 or whatever. My sister was born in 88. I don't know what to think. Your sister probably knew what 88 meant when she chose to be born in that year. I think you should cut ties. You're missing a pretty obvious visual. <laughs> Hold on. The cancel culture people might have a point. Hold on. We missed this during the trailer. How could we have missed this? That's true. We can't let them get away with this. You think changing your name to Infestation Origins is enough to undo? That we, we know what you are. It was there the whole time. God almighty. Just be careful about this stuff. I don't know, man. I feel bad for those devs. It makes me... You know how hard game development is? Even like shitty knockoff, like, oh, we're going to get a bunch of publicity off this. Those, those guys might be talented devs who are just looking to get a boost in publicity. Like they're going to try to milk a lot of attention off of the whole Steamboat Willie thing, but they might be like legitimately talented. We don't know. I have a lot of respect for artists and game devs in particular because I, I like video games. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it could end up being a shitty derivative knockoff, like, holistically. Like, it's not just the marketing that's shitty and derivative, but it's, like, all of it. In which case, I mean, I guess that's a little bit less of a tragedy, but it, I don't know.